Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to take a really close up look at the new satin sheet by Prusa. I've been waiting for this since Black Friday in 2020 and I finally got it after two and a half months. When it comes to 3D printing, there's lots to be said of one of the greatest advancements for consumer grade printers. But I gotta say, the biggest achievements are the printing sheets. Now, Prusa started out with the smooth sheet, which was great for PLA, but horrible for PETG. And then they gave us texture sheet, which was great for PETG, but in some cases decent for PLA. And now we have satin which is the best of both worlds. Now, if you print in both PLA and PETG, this will save you a hassle of constantly switching back and forth. But how does it stack up under the lens? Now for this quick experiment, I decided to use brand new, right out of the bag, black filament from Overture. And black is, well, very less forgiving when it comes to mistakes, which will be very apparent when we look at it under the macro lens. Now when it came to printing settings, I pretty much used the Overture PLA settings in Prusa Slicer 2.3. And for PETG, I used the generic PETG settings with 250 and 240 degrees nozzle temperature with a bed temperature of 95 and 90 degrees Celsius respectively. Now for the Z height, I pretty much kept it constant for PETG and PLA for each sheet after a successful first layer calibration. Now without further ado, it's time to play Guess That Tile. Did you guess it right? Now for me, I found printing on texture sheet a delight. Some people have adhesion issues with PLA on texture. And for me, I always get decent results as you can see here. Now the issue with printing PLA on texture is when it came to printing small parts. The rule was, if you print with small parts, use the smooth sheet for better adhesion. All right, now let's take a really in-depth look with my macro lens. Now when it came to printing PETG on smooth, it could be rather difficult getting bed adhesion. Now I'm not an expert at printing PETG on smooth and I don't even bother since I have a texture sheet, but I do know it's possible printing PETG on smooth. For this I use Windex as a releasing agent and I know you can use glue. But if you have any suggestions of improving prints of PETG on smooth, leave in the section below.
So here's my question to you. Is the satin sheet worth it? Now for me, it's a definite yes because I quite often switch between PLA and PETG and having a bed layer that's great for PLA and PETG makes life easier. Plus, it feels a lot more durable than the smooth sheet. Well, that's all I have for today. If you found this video informative and interesting, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the section below. Till next time, happy printing.